<laughs> it's me. Alright, so we just got to Pote Free Market. This is probably one of my favorite flea market in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, why? Why is a good question. It's not crazy. Like, people don't look at you like crazy like the other ones where they're like, what are you doing here? Why you have a camera? Or everybody's just minding their own business here. They do have like a, an area where people dance and that's the part that I hate because most people are drunk and if it's on a good Sunday, somebody's gonna give you an elbow, even if you're walking by. And it's fine because, you know, they're having fun. I always like to see people have fun, but sometimes it gets annoying. So let's go take a look at what's up with this place. Let's go. Okay, so this is the back entrance. As you can see, it's uh, $2 to get in, no weapons allowed. It's five after 5 p.m. And if you're one of those people that can pay $2, so you do take the $5, uh, the free after 5 p.m., I'll tell you why, because even if after 5 p.m. this place is live, this place is still jumping. In this area, they sell uh, the little go karts for kids or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty dope. Uh, I bought one for my daughter. She never used it. I guess she was not old enough. She was like a year old when I got her one. But these are remote control. Pretty notes. If your kids are old enough, you can get them those and uh, they'll leave you alone. Except mine. She doesn't know how to use it. And I have to talk over this time because music, YouTube does not allow you to put any music in your stuff. And a lot of my video, I have to edit them or talk loud over them because any kind of music ruins my, uh, my shooting. pretty dope. I used to be addicted to these blankets at one point. I grew out of that. The main entrance is back this way i didn't take the main entrance because there's always cars back as you can see there's a lot of packed cars there the back entrance you'll just like literally just drive through within 10 seconds and then you're in there so if you ever come here take the back entrance you don't have to do a lot of uh, waiting it's still the same price it's like two dollars
the funniest place. They sell underwear. First time I saw that, I uh, laughed. But hey. So they have an ice cream shop which is right there. They also have food and so like uh, most of the flea markets here are pretty dope because the owners of the flea market tend to sell all the food. So if you're like want to be a vendor, you can't come here and want to sell food. You can sell everything else but food. That's where most of the uh, money comes from. So uh, you'll see a lot of snack bars, uh, a lot of candy shops and stuff here is purely by the owner of the place. So. And that's what I mean. They sell beer here, so sometimes people are drunk and they bump into you, which is something that happened a lot. So this is my uh, daughter's favorite shop. Sometimes they have a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff and she'll come here and collect them. I remember one Sunday we came here and we bought so many Mickey Mouse collection because she just addicted to that kind of stuff. So it was kind of fun how you see a lot of people sell their used uh, toys and stuff. Oh, there's a snack bar. There's a lot of shoes. I think it would take at least about 45 minutes to cover this whole place. Uh, Shredder's Village took us hour, two hours maximum to cover. But this place, I'm not even like uh, past the first row. I'm still in the first row. So it's pretty big. Right in front of the
So on the left side, most of the places here, they have uh, window tinting and they do like uh, stereos in the vehicles. So it's on site. So a lot of these places, they have on site window tinting and stereos. Kind of good if you want to stay here in your car because you can go for a walk and you come back and now you got some bump. And another snack bar. That's uh, number two. Three actually, if you count the first one. So that's uh, one of my goal one day is to open a free market because it's good money for the snack bar. It's fun when somebody wave at the camera. So, some of these places, if you see uh, an empty stall, that means nobody bought it. The good thing about most of these places, they don't have a contract for people who wants to sell stuff here. Like they have a temporary one where you can come for one day and you're done. And then you have some where people prepay in advance and they basically run their business. They're nonstop every weekend. The ones you see empty is probably someone who is not here at the present day. So another window tent place right here. Here comes the area that I like and also don't like. So usually on the right, there's a dance floor there. So people dance right there on the floor. And they also have a live bank. There is no live bank today. We are passing snack bar number five at this point. So by the time we come back, they should have a, a live band there, which they play. If uh, people have enough alcohol in them, you'll see them dancing. So hopefully we get lucky and get to see that when it happens. So a lot of times when I come here, I tend to buy a lot of socks. Um, so you get like uh, 10 or 15 socks for like four bucks. And that's why I came here for a lot of time by myself. Like today, I'm going to buy me some socks. Hey, 
And they have boots here. Which I will never wear. I don't know this guy. He's just bothering me. What are you doing here? I sell here. You sell here? So, okay, yes. I get a free wallet. Which one do I get for free? No, no free. Why not free? Why free? Why not? This is a business. It's you not, get, you get a, free stuff in my a, business. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. This is dope. 29 years here. 29 years? So you see, he's been here 29 years. Yeah. What do you have here? <laughs> so a lot of purses. I'm going to come inside your thing. So so uh, he's one of my customers and my day job, I guess you want to call it. He's a pretty nice guy. And he's watching soccer. And she's eating, what is that, tamales? Ooh, yeah, don't interrupt that lunch. Another music. And that snack bar is closed. That snack bar is out of, uh, it's out of service. One of the most popular thing you'll see at every flea market, boots. Okay, we have to edit that video. There's more music. Courtesy of YouTube, who does not allow people to play music. Snack bar must be out of service because these chairs are empty. And snack bar is out of service. There's another shoe place here, which is a pretty good. Now that is a shoe I would wear. If you look at those. That is dope. Too bad. I'm not in the market for shoes. So it goes all the way to the other side over there. They even offer a C19 testing here. Oh, yeah. 
Out of service, Connie Kenny Stainer. They take stuff. service that's uh I don't know how many boots we uh, boot shops they have here. It makes me wonder, like, do they make money? Because like, you go to a flea market and there's about ten or fifteen boot shops. Competition is hot.
So this was one of those more, most quiet area because a lot of the stalls here are empty, but there were still more people in here. If you're a vendor and you're at the front, that's actually good for you because most people will see you at the front, but in the back, it sucks. Not my favorite. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, tent, window tent, and cars, car repair kind of things here in the area here. I kind of like how they did that. It's kind of like they pull all the Adios and stuff in the back. I believe there's uh, two more rows. About to see. Not a hundred percent sure how it looks, but we'll see when we get a little bit to the right. Is it? No, this is the last row. So it's parking lot over there. Thought there was more. So more boots. Here is vegetables. Okay, so I lied. There's more back there. That area with just the empty parking lot. So there's more. For a second, I thought I was crazy because I knew there was more. weather today is not hot and it's not cold it's perfect the wind is chilly which is good for November in Texas we're almost uh, close to December I think the rest of the back, that area right there, is usually reserved for personal vendors, like people who are selling for the day or just selling their own stuff. Like uh, if you're not opening, uh, if you're not having like a yard sale, this is where you end up at the very last row right there to sell your stuff. So yeah, that's kind of not bad. It's like you keep the non-members in the back. Not much action back here, which is expected because there's more fun in the front. There's uh, the music, beer. It, it's kind of funny, right? Because they don't sell beer here, back here. It's only like in the front. So you don't expect a lot of people back here. They will usually get their alcohol and maybe drink it back here. Pretty nice. Appliances. 
Really nice. Okay, if my daughter was here, she would have gone nuts over this thing because she's addicted to Mickey Mouse. So, yeah, she's uh, crazy about these things. I'm surprised. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I ended up buying uh, these two. It's the Mickey and the Minnie, the Christmas version of them, I guess, for 25 bucks, which is going to make a happy daughter when I get home. I didn't uh, have uh, any plan on buying that, but when I get home, I have a very, very happy daughter. So. And uh, the Giants are winning, so there you go. This is more toys. Pinatas. You can come here and get your Wrangler jeans for 20 bucks if that's what you're into. Guess this is the final stretch of this video. <laughs> Cause there's no more, but I like this area. This is where like you see more car work, so
what you're into. AC. I guess that's what they do, like an AC for your vehicle, I guess. If your Freon is not working, that's what they call it, Freon. Fruits. Auto here too. So, like tents and speakers and subwoofers. Last guy is selling clothes. There's not much left after that. If we make a right, we go back to the, the dance floor. So let's head to the dance floor and see who's dancing there. 